What's happening, everybody? I'm Tyler Hollinger from High Life Productions. Today, the Cosmopolitan, a fantastic cocktail for the ladies. Today on the show, we've had a lot of requests. How do you make the perfect Cosmopolitan? There's a lot of debates going on out there. Obviously, the Cosmo is a very popular drink with the ladies. Yes, I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Large fries and a Cosmopolitan. And became super famous all because of Sex in the City. I mean, Kim Cattrall. Can we talk about that for a second? Did you know, I found out the other day that, that she was in the movie Porky's and then she was also in the movie Mannequin. My name is Emma Hesmeray, but you can call me Emmy. We're gonna make her favorite drink, Kim Cattrall's Cosmopolitan. Let's get started. Okay, so the glassware we're gonna be using is a classic coupe glass. I'm not a big fan of martini glasses, to be honest with you, because I spill them all the time. But if you're mingling, if you're moving, if you're schmoozing, if you're in New York City and you're walking around at a party and you're cheers and glasses, a coupe is always best. And also, it could be your champagne glass. Okay, we got our ice into our shaker glass right now. And as this is a typical martini style drink, it is a high ABV cocktail. So there's a lot of alcohol in it. So we're gonna be doing three ounces of vodka. And I got the old handle of Tito's here just for this demo. Spilled a little on my hand. That's two ounces on one side, one ounce on the other side of vodka. I'm gonna throw you a little twist in here. I don't normally do triple sec. I like Cointreau, I like Grand Marnier. This cocktail, what we're really going for is light and sweet. And this is a very light and sweet curacao. So we're gonna be doing half an ounce of our triple sec. And then we're gonna be supplementing that with half an ounce of our oleosaccharum, which is for the novices out there, sugar and water, simple syrup. But the difference is, is they make this simple syrup with the essence of citrus, which gives it that great citrus zest that really brings out a cocktail, makes it a little bit more complex. That's half an ounce. For our twist, we're gonna put a couple drops of rhubarb bitters. And then finally, just the essence of cranberry juice. What we're really looking for is want to just use enough to make the cocktail pink, but not so much where you make it red. So we're gonna be using 0.5 ounces of cranberry juice. And then finally, I almost forgot our citrus. We're gonna be doing half a lime squeezed into our Cosmopolitan. And the great part about this is these citrus juices from the limes really bring together the cocktail, balance out the sweet and the tart. Although I gotta be honest, not my favorite cocktail. I would never order a Cosmo in a bar. The ladies would. I can already tell that's a great pink color. We're gonna pour it out into our coupe glass. Wow. I think Carrie Bradshaw would approve. And then finally, we're gonna garnish this with a full lime wheel. Remember, you wanna match citrus with citrus. That's why I, we put lime, oh, we put, oh. Put lime with lime. Here's to you, Carrie Bradshaw. You're perfect, Cosmopop. 